um, I'm sharing the screen again. Okay. So, owner saving. I actually asked a question from you that there is a danger side of using this option that is owner saving. What is that danger side? Say so if the businesses, if the the owner invests his savings into the business, then he might not have enough money in order to fulfill his personal needs and necessities. All right. Okay. Yeah. And it, it is quite possible that despite using owner savings, business does not survive. Okay. And business still remains in financial crisis. So now the owner will not be losing the money which is there in the business. Owner will be losing its Sir, personal. Yeah. The increase of risk because the liability is really unlimited of the owner. So there is a yeah. huge risk in it. Very good term you actually use there. Huh? Good knowledge demonstrated by you. Sole trader always has unlimited liability. And that is the reason because they, the sole traders, they use their own savings as well as a source of finance. So once, uh, once business starts suffering losses, they do not actually lose the money which they have invested in the business. They actually lose their own money as well which they which was available for their personal needs so now they become hand to mouth okay so they actually are uh, after uh, in this situation they are in dire uh, poverty so yes that is the danger side that it's not about that business will collapse they will be struggling to meet their basic necessities as well because now the money which was available to meet their family needs it's not available any longer all right so yeah but now my question this option is available not available to some types of businesses can you tell me which type of businesses this option is not available to no idea no sir right this is i told you you actually uh, mentioned that public limited companies and private limited companies because there's a feature there in both types of businesses and that is incorporated businesses. Now incorporated business means that owner and the business both are separate. So it means if business is struggling, owners are not responsible to uh, support it, right? Owners will only be losing the money they have invested and they will never be using their personal money at all. Why? Because they believe that if business is in financial crisis, so business has to deal with it because business has a separate legal existence other than uh, compared to the owners. Owners have their own existence and business has its own existence. Business has, their, has its own profits, assets, liabilities and owners have their own. So that is why because there is an element of uh, separate legal identity, owners do not use uh, uh, their owner saving to support the business. So this is, so you need to remember that if in a question at the start, there is uh, an information given about the business and that business is about a private limited company. Okay, now the question is, for example, the question is uh, state two of the options or identify and explain two of the uh, internal sources of finance available to the business and you write owner saving you will get zero mark why because it is not linked with the information given the question is about private limited company and owner saving is not the option which is available in private limited company so you need to be very careful about it yes if it is written it's a sole trader business or we have not mentioned anything then you can use that option as a source of finance otherwise you cannot so be careful while using this uh, option. So that's why I'm saying this is the danger element for the students, not for the owners only, for the students as well when they use this option. Uh, got it, Hamnan? Uh, Mana? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, owner saving might not be sufficient because you, as I told you, owner saving is normally available to sole traders and to partnership businesses as well because Partnership businesses also have unlimited liability and they can use their own savings as well. But usually it is done by sole trader businesses. So when 
this option is available to a business it means it's a sole trader usually right so sole traders are normally small businesses okay so and there is only one owner so it means the amount will also be limited if this option will be used owner savings will not be much right so again it means you cannot use that option to finance a large amount of expenditure such as a capital expenditure let's say taking over another business buying a very expensive technology right so you cannot do it using this option so because a rel relatively a small amount can be raised with this option all right now quickly uh, we'll be going through the advantages and disadvantages as well retain profit is also called plot back profit you know about it plot back why we call it because when you do you know why we call it plot back profit anyone else mana amna any idea Uh, no? Plot back means you're getting something. You're getting back to yourself. Yeah, back. Okay. Now it means that once you get a profit, you do not distribute it among the owners or the shareholders. So you reinvest it. So plot back profit means that once you earn profit, some part of profit is reinvested in the business or invested back into the business. That's why it is called plot back profit. Okay. Not all the profit. You know that some part is given to the owners. That is. Uh, the dividend, but the, the profit which is reinvested, we call it retained profit, and that is why it is called plot back profit as well. Now, profit kept in the business after the owners have taken their share of the profits, we have done that. Uh, advantages quickly see it: no repayment, no interest. But remember, uh, in the paper, if the question is about identify any two advantages of retained profit, or state any two advantages of retained profit you can write no repayment no interest fine you can get two marks out of this because uh, this question demands only two marks but if the question is about identify and explain two advantages of uh, retained profit then you have to develop these concepts so if you say no repayment so you write like for example if a business uses retained profit and they use it and uh, they lose their money now there is no fear among the owners that they have to pay it back as well right so this is a relief for the owners as well that if they use that money and even if they lose it uh, they do not have to pay it back and it won't increase their liability and you know that liabilities are not good at all because you have to pay them after all even if you have to sell your business because if your liabilities increase this is a burden on business okay so more liability the business has the more risk business has that it is going uh, to collapse sooner or later so that's why it does not increase the liability that is the burden on business and the owners they get a sigh of relief that okay uh, at least uh, even if we lose the money we do not uh, need to pay back this is how you will be developing it no otherwise you won't get marks for analysis Sim uh, similarly no interest so can you develop this point because knowledge is there how can you develop this point retain profit has an advantage that interest no interest needs to be paid fine how can you develop that yes please amna manha no idea amna manha you have no idea how to develop that point okay so let me explain that to you um because i am not able to hear you so uh no interest now remember i am going to develop that and for that i will be using the paint software now so that you will be able to know about that okay now i'm writing it there um let me write it first i write uh the advantage of using a uh, retained profit is that no interest needs to be paid when you write this you get as soon as you write this you will get one mark for the knowledge do remember that okay but if there are marks for analysis as well in the question you have to develop that as well so developing that point will give you the marks for analysis now i'm writing it 
interest is an expense okay interest is an expense of a business and it reduces the amount of profit business earns right business earns right so using this option using this option can um save or can avoid such an expense or let me write so using this option a business can avoid a business can avoid an extra expense right so this is actually the development of the point right so now you will be getting marks for the analysis as well i am using a different color for that now this is analysis remember analysis right because there are questions where are marks for knowledge and analysis as well i am not going to use application because right now there is no case here so uh, that's why i i won't be using that all right so uh, coming back to the the slide um i hope uh, manan hamna you are absolutely clear about uh, developing the point yes sir yes all sir right. very clear all right so this is actually uh, my job to tell you how to write answer even uh, if i am teaching the concept okay this advantage not available to new businesses i explained you that um so profits too low to expand uh, and then more profit kept uh, less dividends now it's not about uh <clears throat> mentioning that because you can get marks for knowledge now because it's almost 2 o'clock now i'm there is a job for you all right and what is the job there are three disadvantages you can take a picture you can have a screenshot okay you will be developing these points in the next class remember this is your task not available to new businesses profits too low to expand more profit kept less dividends this is the knowledge now you will be telling me how to get marks for the analysis you will be developing all these three points right this is your task so uh, that's it uh, thank you very much i'll see you in the next class if you have a question you can ask is there any question no 